Hi everyone, my name is Shafiq and I'm currently pursuing Diploma in Electronic and Computer Engineering, also known as ECE for short, in the School of Engineering. And you're watching Of Course NP, where I'll be showing you what a day in the life of a student in my course is like. Alright, so welcome to Food Club, one of the three canteens here in Nian. I usually come here to get a nice cold cup of coffee before I start my day. Okay, so now that I got my coffee, I'm actually gonna start my executive lesson soon. But before that, I'm pretty sure some of you guys are actually curious about my diploma. So let's talk a bit more about ECE. Okay, so first up, some of you guys might be wondering if there's any subjects in particular that will actually be helpful for joining my course. So I would say that math and physics are actually quite important. Uh, having a math will also be a plus. This is because we'll be diving deep into electronic systems and you have to do a bit of calculation. But don't worry if you guys don't have any of these subjects. This is because in year one, you'll be taught common modules which will teach you all the basics and the fundamentals. And that brings me to the next thing I want to talk about which is career paths. So those in ECE actually have a very diverse range of career options. So we have opportunities in the biomedical and the aerospace field uh, where we can work as support engineers or as networks and communication officers where we can be network engineers, um, programmers or even mobile app developers. So yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, personally, I would like to be a programmer because I feel like the possibilities are endless and with the right amount of skills, you can do just about anything. Alright, so this module is called Cloud Computing and Data Centers. So in this module, we learn how to make use of Amazon Web Services and we get hands-on experience by deploying websites and servers onto the cloud. So, as you can see here, this is a small bit of HTML code that I wrote to display a basic website. It doesn't look like much, but once I zip the file and deploy it, as you can see here, it actually gives me my own website address. And just like that, my website is live. Okay, so it looks like a very basic website here, right? But once you get the concept down, the possibilities are actually limitless. Okay, so now that I'm done with my asynchronous lesson, time for me to head over to the next lesson in the lab, Fundamentals of Control Systems. Okay, so this next module is all about, as you guessed it, control systems. We learn about the different components involved, the stability of different control systems, and the basic concepts of these systems. It's pretty cool because you get to use all these different lab equipment. Right now, I'm actually simulating the entire control system on my laptop and learning about how each of these components actually affect the system as a whole. So, you can be stable, marginally stable, or unstable. And I find it really, really interesting. Alright, so that's the end of my classes. I'm actually going to head over to the convention center now, just to do a bit more work. This is the convention center basement, one of my favorite places to study. I really like studying here because there are lots of open spaces, from swings to long tables to private study areas. This place can accommodate just about any group size, be it whether I'm studying alone or with my friends. So, in electronics and computer engineering, you actually learn a lot about software engineering. So stuff like circuit board diagrams and even programming. But what about specializations? Well, there are two specializations they can choose from. The first one being robotics and communication, and the second one being computer networks. So in robotics and communication, you actually get to learn about the different smart products and how diff different devices communicate with one another. But for computer networks, you actually get to learn how to monitor and maintain different network infrastructures. So that has been a day in my life. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm actually going to head home now. But before I go, why not tell us in the comment section which course you want to see next? Well, until then, that's it from me. Bye-bye!